Hey, hi, good morning. How are you? I'm Richard Lasgado, MBA with 23 years of study abroad costly experience. Uh, I'm covering the visa success series and I, am, I hope you are seeing all my previous visa series. I've already covered the US visa series. So in case you have missed that, you can check it out. They are very, very important. That will help you to prepare for your US visa interview. Also, I want to tell you that when you are going to book your free Zoom one-on-one -on -one appointment with me, be clear with what you want me to help with. Okay, what are your questions, doubts, queries? I will not be able to conduct a full Zoom uh, mock interview in that short span because I don't have your full, full profile. Okay, whatever profile I gain in that short span of time is limited to understanding your query and to answering you. So don't expect that I should have a mock interview, complete mock interview with you, and where I could ask you all the questions and tell you how to answer. It is not possible in that 45 minutes of time. And that 45 minutes of time is valuable for me as well as for you. So use it well and take the opportunity of clearing your doubts. In case you want to have a Zoom meeting, the link is provided in the description. So you can use this link. But very important to tell you is that we do complete study abroad counseling. So we do entire study abroad counseling from the pre-application till your visa. So it includes all the stages, pre-application, list of universities, applications and documentation guidance, admission correspondence, and then visa documentation and visa counseling. So all those stages are included in that process. So we are doing that. And this, what I'm giving you visa tips is my contribution in this, whatever I have learned in this 23 years to share it with you guys so that in case it helps you to get your visa, I'll be happy with that. So that's the purpose. So we are a full complete study abroad counseling company and we do counseling for all countries, all universities, all levels. So with that, let's start for today's visa SOP. In the first, I talked about introduction, then I spoke about academics, and today I'm going to talk about employment, jobs. So if you have basically prior work experience, then you can mention the same in your visa SOP. You can introduce basically the work that you had, your profile, your roles and responsibilities, and how this is related to the program that you wish to do it in Canada. You can give an account of the work experience uh, in terms of the organizations that you have worked for, how long you have worked, and what in what capacity have you worked in all these organizations. If you have basically been promoted, if you have been awarded or recognized for your work, you can talk about that in your SOP as well, saying that you have grown and that will give a positive signal to the visa officer. The skills that you have learned from this work, okay? So these skills that you have learned because of the tasks, projects, and various things, you can mention this and how this is related to the program. So be specific when you are going to write in that. You can talk about the transferable skills like the leadership skills, the communication skills that you have got that, you can, that can be helped when you are going to study in Canada and how this has helped you in studying in Canada, making a decision to basically study in Canada. So write all these things. If you have basically worked abroad, why you left your home country and why you want, went abroad to for your work, what work you did there and why you want to now basically work, uh, study abroad, why you want to study in Canada. So mention that, okay? The overall, basically, if you basically are currently unemployed, if you are currently unemployed, then try to basically mention your previous work experience, highlight them related to the program of study, and tell what activities you are doing at present, and the reason why you are unemployed, but one employed during this period. So the whole objective of this section of is to basically prove to the visa officer that 
your work profile is related to the program of study that you want to study in Canada. And you have been basically working at a particular level and you are not able to go further and that you are doing this program for further growth in your career. And the objective of basically the work experience mentioning is to say how this is related to your academic and career goals. So if you are able to put this section in the visa SOP, the visa officer is going to get convinced that you are a good student, you are profile, it makes sense for the visa officer why you want to do this particular program and you will have a good chance of getting visa S, visa set approved from the visa officer. I hope this is helping you, this is guiding you to basically prepare your visa SOP. Do like, share, subscribe. Okay, if you are looking for study abroad counseling, do book a Zoom one on one appointment by the description link. I will guide you with the entire process. That's what we do. And do the good work so that good things will happen to you. Till then, take care. Bye.